Because most, most people, you know, when they write, they write a really good phrase, and the whole song is carried on that one phrase. Well, that's a pet peeve of mine, and I think it's a tremendous weakness, the, the, uh, the, the over-glorification of the hook. I, I believe songs need hooks, but I don't think that you should start songs with hooks. And that's what everybody does. All these songwriters running around with hook books. They hear something, they write it down, and they go back and they try to write a song about it. I think it's self-limiting. It's like trying to build a house with just one tool. You get a hammer, and I'm going to build a house. Well, you, you, need, you need more. I've done it. I've had good ideas, what I, what I think are good hooks. This is a strong phrase to write a song around. I, I heard something on the Oprah show one time. I picked the right man, but I gave him the wrong finger. I picked the right man, gave him the wrong finger. And I thought, well, that's cool. And I wrote a song where it's a decent song. And I've done that before, but I think our best song, are the ones that start with a concept. I want to say this, and then figure out a hook. I'm a songwriter. I'm supposed to be able to come up with a five-word phrase that's catchy. If I can't do that, I, I should stick to selling shoes or something. I stood there like a stone. Did not come out of that phrase. It came out of I wanted to say something. I wanted to, I wanted to describe a situation where there was an emotional... You know, there's a line in there that says, on the edge of do or die. I want to describe the situation between a man and a woman where there it was, right there in that moment, the relationship was going to live or die, and he did nothing. He didn't argue. He didn't apologize. He did nothing. And then the, the, the title, I Stood There Like a Stone, came out of that. Like a 